69 and the ammunitions them all combined you get different different categories then of the ammunitions then so we get that one is about 622,000 of the round stem we then they come help we follow we demolish them so when actually um when I go start this process the process been done start late last year and then sites then they I go call them to una then uh, Gondama, both the streets at the south of the country, Daru Barracks, then at the eastern region, Kabbalah, Cambia, Cambia, and other demolition points. And lastly, we get Armed Forces Training Center, we have Bengrima, Nana, Watalo, and the western area. So now there are five control demolition sites, then we don't get. So then they move them now until before the 13th. We don't concentrate them at the locations they are on identify to now. Time is very important. So if um somebody then I host or hear anything, you know, go feel so scared. So with not it's the, the, the time of the day we on go start this process and end. The time of the day from where then go begin na Gondama, it go be in the morning to in the afternoon hours, because then the duam in a very professional way and we don't engage various radio stations then for let them help we as a commission for throughout this message. So we people them everywhere so that we go do this job without any incident. So dear, with the request for let una the journalists them, una use una professional skills for a lot of people and say from the 13th of March to the 31st of March, we they engage for demolish all them high explosives then we then don't identify to we for demolish i mean necessary for let anybody panic during the internet we the ask the public for let una no panic we don't do one with national authorities they know they all know see this now exercise we will be we be done the talk about here before last where the late commissioner been there please we no want to let nobody panic all right, well, that's an interview with Usman Kamara do with Colonel Retired Bine Conte with the Commissioner and the Small Arms Commission as it be the explainer that interview do. And they talk to people, wait up around community, them now, Gundama, Kabbalah, Cambia, Bendugu, and Daru. Not for panic, where they go begin for discuss some explosive them. And according to them, now the 13th to the 31st of this month, then go for do that. And it's not any danger to the community. So people and wait up here and in case they begin here, then sound and they wouldn't destroy the weapon them. is say they're not for panic. All right, we continue with the program. Good morning, Salon. In case you just tune in, the program na Good Morning Salon and earlier, the one power headline story there, Motel Nasset today. We we'll look inside how democratic presidents view in governments don't be inside the past five years. Well, if people can remember, almost five years now, we salon people have been casting votes them inside 2018 for votes for His Excellency the President, Dr. Julius Madabio, for let it go run the country for five years. The five years mandates don't they come to an end. And we they begin to look at the different, different things them where His Excellency the President don't do inside the past five years. Today, we look at how presidents build up able to uphold the democratic principles them as na something we mandate for any president we they rule the country, he gets some democratic principles the way for uphold. And today for this program, we they look at democ um, sorry, human rights and how people then win other stakeholders like the civil society, opposition party, then they get the free space for participate inside governance. Well, for can look at the thing they also and for assess president view inside five years, we get three gentlemen they will win at the studio. We get the National Publicity Secretary for the All People's Congress APC Party winner, the main opposition party in the country. CDI at Tunis they will win at the studio. Good morning, Mr. Tunis. Good morning, Khadija. Thank you very much for getting here. And also, we get a voice, we're very vocal in the civil society space where they talk about human rights. Now, mm -hmm. Abdul Fatoma, and the chief executive for Chadi. Good morning, Mr. Fatoma, and welcome to the program. Good morning, Ms. Bangor, and good morning to the people of Australia. And of course, um, we're not able to assess the government for the past five years, how they're able to uphold democratic principle and take this space for other people and for participate without knock out the government spokesman 
Kolekangi, <coughs> the government, sorry, the government of Naimek will get Mohamed Raman. So we will turn at the studio this morning. We are the government spokesman and also Minister of Information and Communication. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Khadija. The family are morning. All right, I will start with you for Lady Premise as she here introduced the topic to listen to them for the past five years you don't be a key player inside president bio in government as a government spokesman and also 2018 salon people and be vote for president bio for be president for five years a mandate only come to an end but as i stated earlier any president get key democratic principle them for poll for ensure say able for govern the citizen them properly human rights and the way how opposition party them, civil society, the media, they participate Now, one key mandate that they as a government way for uphold. For the past five years, how democratic presidents being governments don't be in terms of human rights and free space for the people them participate. Okay. Um, so uh, President Bill come to power. First law set the context, right? President Bill now one of the foremost Democrats then we salon get. Fumble the members say um, in 1996, um, they conduct elections um, and return this country to democratic civilian rule. The rest of the history will sabi. After after a brief stint in leadership, uh, but could other people then for them, the trappings of power and all of that for them make them want for stay longer. But it's a look. We've been take over as young officers who make three commitments. We want for set the economy right, we want for end the war, and return the country to democratic civilian rule. So I'm going to ensure that we return this country to democratic civilian rule. I miss apprehensions, I miss fears, I miss concerns. A conduct that election day and power a handover to a democratically elected government of the late uh, former president, Dr. Tijan Kaba. So that one day, now, now just for set the context. So all the things they talk about, and all, and all jump into run today. He has been a soldier Democrat. He's been a Democrat at heart from where he started this long journey. So you come again. I will just list a whole lot of things and I can zero in on them one after the other. Um, you know, let's start with Mr. Sef. The president is a product of a democratic arrangement. He won elections fairly and squarely in 2018. Now American president, right? He's been swear and oath uphold then democratic values and so you have democratically elected president bill here at state house we have in the campaign they make commitments you know other politicians they don't use for make promise what president bill talking about commitments they make he committed for example so look when i win i got to make sure say we repeal criminal libel now, one of them good governance arrangement, and when you talk about human rights, the 1991 constitution very clear, but free speech, you know, for criminalizer, right? We know say before President Bill come, governments and non come and go. All man, the promise, they should breeze in the end, you know, they deliver nothing. Huh? Some they not even come to power on the back of repealing the criminal libel law. You know, they not do anything. This President Bill with the media, all kind of course, all kind of fictitious allegations, all kind of bad name and game for nothing. And this is for the most part on professional sections of the media. But the president said, look, a day not TRC recommendation, say, for repeal criminal libel. Every year, a day not the Human Rights Commission report, so for repeal criminal libel law, because they infringe on free speech. Article 19 and global rights bodies, they say for repeal criminal libel law. And the president, not so because they want to tick box, they commit personally for the one, and a do see a do the repeat. So that side, that is promise made, promise delivered. 10 points over 10. Huh? Then you come, um, you talk about um, re removing, abolishing the death penalty. Now, Africa, yeah, so global democracy records then and share the yeah, um, Rights and democracy day in recession. Now, many parts of the world, a day in retreat. Salona, yeah, would continue for give more and more rights under this president, even though for most African governments and that's what death penalty and they love it. They say for keep tick bend the mouth. President Bill said no, no government, not for participate in the killing of any own citizens, be it judicial, judi, um, through the judiciary or otherwise. So 
abolish the death penalty. Not to say not being in opposition, even within cabinet. Of course, for members of the public. I mean, the debate be raging, be hot, you know, but the president said, look, we have to be a civilized country and join the rest of the world so that we don't participate in murdering our own citizens for whatever reason. So abolish the death penalty. Um, you know, where rape and other issues have now become quite an issue. You know, these were younger, some of them babies that were being raped, sexually penetrated, and they died and deformed for life. I mean, via domestic violence and all that, and then they, you know, they're on the high, all time high. The president said, look, this would talk about about 51% of a population of women. Violence against women and all that, and then a national emergency. And followed by that, we put in place some of the, some of the world's most stringent measures or make sure she will, make sure she will cover, we will stop her, we will, we will deal with her, you know? But that in itself was not enough. We'll go ahead and set up sexual model, model sexual offenses courts, what's in the mean? Then court, then away the care go, you matter, you follow her up with interest, it done expeditiously, they're not a delay forever. Before now, what do you mean it happen? You know, you go court, you work at this, or not, you work at this, you say lost interest by the case. And, you know, we they talk about, um, rule of law business, uh, um, justice issues, we in a democracy business that one day, they say justice delayed, not justice denied. So they may deny them victims and they justice all in years. President Bill said, no, we cannot as a government be complicit in this. So provisions were made, um, courtesy of the chief justice and others, that court they do very well. And uh, reports they say, rape, sexual violence and other things there, uh, a day in research, a day, a day on, on, on the law now because this one they add to Madam First Lady in campaign, hands of our girls, and then in the way they take across the country. This has to be acknowledged. Now, major democratic move now. Um, we also don't strengthen Boku Boku democratic institutions there. Yeah? Um, we don't talk about um, the ACC, Anti-Corruption Commission. We know the gains that we don't make. In terms of transparency rankings, we've been the 118, 128 in 2018, so they were the 110 in 2022. This is a quantum leap. This is not a leap we able to achieve overnight. We will not sleepwalk into her. That's a result of very deliberate policies, very deliberate actions, and the thing that we do for corruption. On the Global Peace Index, we rank 50. We are one of the most peaceful places um, in the continent. Again, you talk about rights. Because of the repeal of the criminal libel law, because there are no political prisoners in jail, because no journalists not in a jail because of the practice of the profession, because with the deep in and continue for push the boundaries of freedom, you know, um, the Freedom of Information scorecard by the MCCO Commercial Salonga 98. Now two no more left. So subject us to the same test next time around, we we'll get over 100. Because we are very poised, we are very determined in the second term of President Bill for make sure say, who do more and more and more. Civil liberties under the same scores. Again, the question I want to ask that is not to win no more say. You know, this is what other people, globally trusted, time tested institutions don't talk about. We civil liberties, but MCC scorecard will get 92. What is our civil liberties? Now, then, right, we, for example, my brother CD then get or pillar associate or go hold them convention at McKinney, then get police support then. Then I get access on restricted access to SLBC, you know, you know all that freedoms. And they will get 92 per. Not to, not to bond to the market paper or put your own make come on. This is not MCC says so. The American man, they only do money. American man, they give us the macro, you know, get the family they understand it. Then go 98 per freedom of information, per civil liberties, and go 92. Political rights, that are that right to post in there for belong to political parties. Just for expressing your political views, then go 94. For rule of law, then go 65. Land rights. I want to talk about land rights. Land rights are also rights. They are, in fact, crucial rights. Now, now rights are one of a compromise as a nation. Before now, um, Tinele Poloma inherit property from the family. No problem. Legal land and the provinces, no issue. With the enactment of the land rights by a very dynamic young minister, Dr. Turan Senesi, 
under the president in say so. We don't able for democratize that. So Kalija, we get land, Obeya, and brother, they don't go say no. He don't go marry, they don't get again. Now the same right. This is a, this is a right what we known the fight for from colonial times. You know, all these years on, nobody not able to give. President Bill believes say who for giving rights and they to people there. In fact, forgive meaning to that one directly. We come on and who put in there, they don't walk and succeeding generations there. They don't pass through these streets and they don't only get rights. We don't even make land rights, the land ownership rights, access to land democratic. Now I make them don't introduce the lottery with um, genius staff they hold on the work for other riders, is that every facet of life they get an opportunity for, for raffle and get access to land and I have for you and your families. Because Sierra Leone must be seen working for every Sierra Leonean, you know. So by way of opening statements, I can go on. This government again, what will come in, in 2018, we will meet the former um, administration not take a decision on the Constitutional Review Committee. You know, over the years, we said the 1991 Constitution, it don't take. And constitutions that come in, they will stand the test of time, but they will able to solve particular problems and challenges in our society. 1991 constitution coming, they don't do you. But Sarah Lanyan said across the board, across the aisle, we not the call for a review of that instrument. The former administration put together an 84 member committee, they go across this country. They spent billions and billions on it, you know, but then literally jettisoned all the constitutional review uh, reports there. And this is now views freely expressed by Sarah Lanyan's across this country. Because democracy was saying about government of the people, for the people, and by the people. So right. the people their voices were ignored. President Bill don't come in. We don't take most of them in the on board. The ones who are able to enact by two ordinary procedures, um, they know they do that. The other one will require a referendum. Will be subject to a referendum. Inshallah, mm. inshallah, in the second time. All right, thank you so very much. So we'll continue to do more. But this is not just the intro. All right, thank you. We, we need for, to talk about this. Yeah. Thank you for that prayer, Mr. Wadole. And just so Una know and the benefits of the listener them, we produce and the time we get them 10, 10 minutes each for lay your premise on how you think, say, President Bill in government don't be democratic for the past five years. Well, five minutes, or do Why you not give me 10 minutes? <laughs> you do more than 10 minutes, sir. All right. Well, the program Good Morning Salon, they continue. And if you just stay tuned in or you just stay go now, we read the Democracy Facebook page. So then at the program, read the Democracy, they look at how democratic president bill in government don't be inside the past four to five years now where they complete so. And when I just don't listen to Mohamed Rahman Suare, when I the Minister of Information and Communication, I start for lady premise as to how democratic president bill in government don't be inside the past year them. And they make mention of different areas and where you say, according to Ram President Bill, and she say a delivered anything in the way been promised and commitment inside manifesto for achieve. It talk about the repeal of the criminal libel law. It talk about the death penalty where they don't pull. It talk about the rape way President Bill take as national emergency we been declared at the country. It also talks say no journalist not in jail because of the work way then they do and also make mention of the MCC scorecard. We say under civil liberty, for example, um, the government may get a pass of 92%. Political right, they say the government may get a pass of 94%. And make mention of different other things them where according to um, the president in government to do for let them go achieve um, the democratic space where everybody is supposed to forget. Well, we continue for a look at this topic. Now we come over to the main opposition, the All People's Congress, APC party will be done introduced earlier. We get... See there at Tunis, the publicity secretary elect. And there this morning, for can talk about what anything say President B and government on Talek in terms of democratic practice inside the past five years. Well, over to you, see there at Tunis, the comment from the All People's Congress APC party. We don't listen to the minister as the premise it only am as to waiting government don't do. Waiting on I don't see from the lens of opposition as how democratic this government don't be. Thank you very much. Um are the due will assessment, not only from the lens of the opposition, but are the due based on waiting we as opposition, no democracy for B, and waiting also we don't see how we continue for see a shrinking democratic space, especially when it comes to our opposition, and also the several, several human rights abuses will not happen. 
under this current administration. Opposition supposed to be part of democracy, and we're not part of democracy. And also, we get to understand, see, democracy is self-guided self by laws and principles. In real context, we get the Constitution of Sierra Leone. We clearly state how we democracy and we electionary process for look like. Um, in 2018, we all clearly see the elections happen. We usher in President Julius Madabu as the winner for the presidential elections. That same election also clearly shows say, the All People's Congress, the APC, win the legislature, win our parliament, because we get majority, we win parliamentary seats as well as the councils across this country. Now, it tells you that one party don't win the presidency, we will all accept, and one party don't win parliament. We clearly, the parliamentarians have been there. But what's it happen? Right there, we begin to see the abuse on with democracy. The first step was when it came to the election of the Speaker of Parliament. We know, say, the practice Democratically, you get for elect parliament and mostly anywhere you look at now the world, the majority party in parliament, they always get speaker. But what did they do? On that day of the election of the speaker of parliament, they get for kick members of parliament them out forcefully. We all see in the full view of this country, the police went into the well of parliament, beat parliamentarians out of parliament, kicked them out, humiliated them. Some of them get for be end up for be hospitalized, then kick them out simply because they want for be get their way of getting the speaker how they want her. And then do um, you know, they abuse with democracy right there. And all this stop day, we continue to see the continuous harassment of the opposition. We all don't see the many, many, many times when we see this administration, they use the judiciary. We get members of parliament, we spend a whole year legitimately elected. They don't they serve the parliament and we see how they use the court for remove 10 of we MPs then from parliament. But let us even say, they use the court for remove them. But the laws are clear that when you remove MP in a parliament, we for do by election. But what is happening? When they remove with MPs from parliament, the one that will come second, in a way they no say na, 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 na SLPP MPs, the court automatically make them MPs. So they, are, they were never elected by the people of this country or by their constituents. The one, we're not to SLPP can second, then say we for do by election, as in the case of um, 110. So we now get up to nine MPs. We don't serve now with parliament. We don't make laws on behalf of this country. We don't vote on major policies. We get for influence me and you like. We don't ever elect as members of parliament. We not court appoint them as members of parliament. We not only go against with democratic principles, but also go against with electoral laws and even with national constitution of this country. We don't see that one they repeatedly under this administration. And then we also come to opposition, having the freedom. Maybe as I speak now in this country, not only APC and SLPP don't do the national delegates conference for elect the leaders. And even we as APC, when I all see the hurdles, the challenges, we get for use all sort of, you know, way for ensure say we're able to do with them, we, 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 we elections, then for elect we officers them from lower level all the way to a national delegates conference. Even on the day of the national delegates conference, we get election, I mean, injunction slammed on we. Not a coincidence, for let we see all the political parties there, the major ones there, injuncted. And not to also coincidence, for let we see political parties there, two executives, one recognized by PPRC, 
one not recognized by PPRC. We don't see all our day under this administration. We don't also see how continuously opposition parties are not allowed for carry on their activities as enshrined in the constitution of this country. That are for able for assemble, for able for get meetings. Me when they speak, we oppose we party office, don't get slammed by police. Over 40 tear gas canisters were fired into our building. You go in now, most of the windows then broken. People were arrested and beaten and tortured under this administration simply because people then gather for express their grievances over the removal of our MPs. And all this stopped them many, many, many times for even assemble now we own political party offices. We get for get clearance from the police, which by right not supposed for happen because under the constitution, once you know the process, you get right for assemble, you get right for discussing political affairs as a political party because you already exist under the constitution of Sierra Leone and with electoral laws and even the PPRC Act. We don't see instances, many, where political parties and they gather, they therefore go scattered in gatherings because they say they don't get police clearance. And you don't also see where even police don't get clearance because of one or two calls from somewhere, the police they don't they get for withdraw on then clearance them from political parties. Then the classic case in point recently, Unity Party then began a national delegates conference. They don't get police clearance. Then they are the conference. Then they, they assemble. Then they part, do the conference. Police then go there again for scatter and say they don't without the clearance because PPRC not approved. Well, my point here is, even if PPRC not give go ahead, but for the fact saying a political party, they don't assemble, they don't process, then a right to the constitution give them. The police not being get right for go scatter them on the premise PPRC not approved. Even if they not approve, once they don't assemble them for go ahead, if at the end of the day, whatever elections they do, PPRC get the right for say will not recognize this because we will not follow X, Y, Z. But for the fact say police go in for scatter, that in itself, they lead to confrontation. Now, many of us were they in opposition. Clearly, we all know say we don't suffer torture, we don't suffer suppression. Now, very few of we not on sleep now Paremba Road or CID or you know, we not then find ourselves in a court because, you know, of a political belief. I guess for underlying this political belief or statements we will make, we're not favorable to government. Not breaking the law, but statements made, we're not favorable to government. Now, the, the minister, they talk about the repeal of criminal libel law. Yes, the government will repeal criminal libel law, a process we start from previous administration. But how, while, while they repeal the law, they introduce an even more draconian law, where are the criminal, the cyber crime law, where now they don't even attempt for use them for harass opposition. We see Honorable Kemosi say they drag on a court using the cyber crime law, where right. they wrongly court just because they demand for use them to suppress the opposition. We also don't see the massacre. Now, Paremba Road Prison, where are one of the gross human rights abuses we don't see in the history of this country, where we get defenseless inmates, then go they massacre them to this day. We don't know the actual number of inmates we suffer or we die in Paremba Road. We see the massacre in Makini, where six people die over just, you right. know, then, dis, then dissatisfaction right. over a generator. And the disheartening thing about that, even where the right, massacre and they, they happen, you see people standing on the premise of okay. the state lodge. When our security you, forces attached to the minutes. presidents, they dance, say, then go massacre, then go then right. they kill anybody. We're not favorable to the government. All right. And you very don't recently, you minutes. see the deputy minister we go come back to you. See the same statement. We go come back to you. Anybody. You don't exhaust So as we continue, 
you don't mm-hmm. exhaust you 10 minutes, we will come back to you. That's a CDA at Tunis. It come out from the All People's Congress. They are this morning. The program, Good Morning Salon, today, the democracy, they look at how democratic presidents be in government don't be inside the past five years. And at the program, we get the Minister of Information and Communication, Mohamed Rahman Suare. We also get CDA at Tunis from the All People's Congress, and we get Abdul Fatouma Way sitting in the middle as civil society representative. We go for country and let me just take a quick break. And we also want for remind on our city then at the program, we produce her then they give 10 minutes each we will talk to the guests then for explain waiting and think about how democratic president be in government don't be. We they take short break and come to the other guests. Salon Commercial. Salon Commercial Bank don't come with new banking products them for make life easy with me and online bank. A million mobile app, you can able for use Salon Link money transfer for send money to anybody in like you know get bank account. Transfer or receive money now the same bank or any other bank. Transfer money to person or office in like you know get your account number. Buy extra light, pay other bill them, and now get advanced salary. You don't need for worry again about almost money they now you earn. Because you can able for property the way you buy in a supermarket and other shop them with the quick response code payment. Your bad don't done for we boss man them. With we own online direct, you can upload salary, pay all your supplier them, sell forex to Salon Commercial Bank, and watch your account anytime. If you need the app, download them from Google Play Store or any Apple Store or go to Salon Commercial Bank website, www.slcb.com. Sierra Leone Commercial Bank, delivering God. Seven minutes past the hour, eight o'clock. Now, the term from studio clock when they come back. Now, studio, in case you just tune in, the program now, good morning salon. And today, now, the program where they look at how democratic presidents be in government don't be inside the past five years from 2018 to now, where salon people and be elect them for be president, either able for uphold some of the democratic principle them. We they look at two today in the program, we look at human rights and how you don't able for open the space for their civil society, opposition party them and other stakeholders them participate inside democracy. We get three studio guests them, the government spokesman under the Minister of Information and Communication, the main opposition party, the National Publicity Secretary, CDI attorneys. Well, they can now to we other guests we na the civil society activist in na, na Abdul Fatoma and in organization they look at mainly human rights activity them na the country we na chadi Mr Fatoma I don't listen to the premise we the Minister of Information don't lay for sake of government waiting they don't do it don't outline a whole lot of improvements them where according to Ram nine presidents being government don't do. And he feels say they're able to uphold some of the democratic principles then. You also listen to the opposition member, which he thinks say the president in government no able for do it for ensure say they give them the space for participate and save all some of their activity they will make them able function as opposition party. From a civil society point of view, what is your own opinion in terms of human rights and save the, sp- the free space for all, and all participate in democracy in a salon? Thank you very much, Khadija. Um, democracy is simply the will of the people. And <clears throat> democracy and human rights go hand in hand. No one, not the left in company behind. So um, for let you go enjoy your democratic rights, you know, basic fundamental human rights then, therefore be respected. Sierra Leone as a country, we still face significant human rights and democratic challenges. And we still the struggle for get access to justice in this country. They might say improvement on the court then they see the outside court then not ever see done. We still get thousands of people then. We get cases then are caught for over several years. We still get detainees then. Uh, with detention center or correctional centers across the country for over several months without seeing a judge, without seeing a lawyer, having access to a lawyer. And that even make the, the number of call over the way the judiciary can do. Still, we're not able for empty, you know, the, the big backlog the way we get. As I speak now, one judge, they get up to 
70 something or 100 and something files on criminal matter. Like um, the minister be say, justice delay is justice denied. In my own argument, always I can say, justice denied is justice dead. When you delay justice, you know, not dead, you know, something. And we still get challenges for get access to food, food security at this country. We still get challenges for get access to health. You know, these are all not democratic rights. These are all not human rights issues. We still get challenges whether we accept one another for with political beliefs or with political, you know, ideology in this country. So these are all not human rights issues. And we still get state institutions and we see say, certain people that were very vocal against system, existing system. Then people then they for be malign and be pushed outside of the equation. Like a, a state broadcasting um, station, they were over years, you know, um, just the belief that say with a strong allegation that say, Abu Fatoma an anti-government person. So you know they go to that studio. Uh, these are all under human rights, freedom of expression, a recognized right. Then you get a freedom of assembly. The freedom of assembly, now a right way we for able to gather one side or we gather some side openly, freely, with protection from the government and express with concerns. So uh, the right for let go protest at this country very much challenging. The bigger excuse go can say, we get security constraints. We believe, say, government for use a lot of other ideas and innovations by looking for a free space land, even alongside the Peninsula Road. And government demarcates that very side, they say, every public demonstration, when I go assemble on that side and put police there, so if you want for secure the treat for every citizen, but let people then they, they let them voice out their opinion freely. But we get challenges as a country when it comes to their areas. And they. We also get challenges, you know, when um, security uh, operatives and allegedly take people their life for let we inquire into the thing and they ensure that say we bring justice to the people of this country and the family members and of the victims and they we get huge challenges. We get challenges into public inquiries about something will go happen in a community. We get the fire disaster and we link the petrol thing. An investigation be set up for let them look into that. We are yet to see that report. We get challenges in also the, the prison break riot. What's not be the cause? What's not be the root cause? What's not be the concern why we get to that point as a country? We'll be promised that, say, an inquiry will do, do into that and they get back to it. Nothing will happen. We don't read that report. This is not a challenge. We we'll also get the McKinney saga for the generator. And with that, we we'll work with the we organization, we work with the vice president office and the UNDP after the program. For that, we engage people then are Makini, young people and the community elders, and they explain to we the concerns why that may happen. A break in communication. Another inquiry we set up, say, then go look into that matter. We get challenges for get access, you know, for that very report. Then the August 10th situation, the investigation they go on, you know, how far, how long, you know, we still wait as a country for we will get access to that. We development partners and globally recognize it. We don't make some progress by law reform, by also introducing new laws and for strengthening with democratic, you know, and stance them. But yes, still, some of these other things that we are saying, and so many other things, and we as a country, 
we still get challenges to the internet. That are the reality we need for come to terms with that. And as a country, we need to take a position. If we want to be a democratic country or we want to be a jelly system, half enough, democratic and half enough otherwise. So basically, um, these are some of the things that we, I think, say, you know, we they get challenges with. All right, well, continue for the between at the studio. That's uh, Abdul Fatoma, Ikomo Chadi, and he didn't have the program today at Civil Society. He did talk on the topic where really democracy they look at way and how democratic residents be in government don't be since 2018 to now. We did take a short break and come and look at more issues at the program. Good morning, Salon. They continue. Don't you be Union Trust Bank, the game changer don't come as we the lead. Others they follow, and just with your mobile phone, you will transfer and receive money with ease, speed, and safety. UTB don't make it possible for collect money in an ATM machine without the ATM card. Now that we call cardless ATM. You, the UTB customer, will send money to anybody and deposit and collect the money in any UTB ATM panel without any ATM card. All it can do now for this enter the reference code and collect the money. The UTB copper in safety with this UTB copper, any UTB customer can transfer copper with a mobile phone to anybody up to five billion euros. And with the reference code, the person can go to any UTB branch and collect the copper. Union Trust Bank, we did for you. All right, we continue with the program. Good morning, Salon. Where they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy, 98.1 FM. 17 minutes past the hour, 8 o'clock, now the time from Studio Clock. And we will bring the program come to you this Monday morning. Me, Nakadija Bangora. And Mabel Kaba. We they look at small issues them at the program, and now they take one power headlines to read them. Usai on Friday, uh, March 3rd this year, His Excellency the President. Dr. Julius Madabio being go open the new extended terminal at the Freetown International Airport. And during this opening ceremony, the president will call on the SUMA group of company winner then they in charge of this airport. We're going to run the airport for the next 25 years. Usai them go don't pull the copper with them boots for extend this airport and later then go under over to government. Well, during the launching, the president will ask them, see whether they're ready for take people them for walk at the airport, then for give priority to people them where come out na Lunge and put lock of the state. And Seth so is say um during this term, we salon be they go through the COVID period, investor them be still they give couple to salon for make them go do some development projects then. You know, Kabia gets more and you go now report. <laughs> Naso in Bitan Lake, March 3rd this year, and Alungi Kapobulum chief don't put stock of this state, where the president Julius Malabio go open the new international airport, where they call the Freetown International Airport, where the Suma Group of Common, in partnership with government of Salonville, where this airport cost $270 million, and the Suma Group of Common. They run this airport for 25 years before they hand them over to government. But how important this airport is to the aviation sector, Cabinet Calon, now the Minister of Transport and Aviation, he explained. We don't get three international air airlines that way they don't show interest for like all the cap. Already we don't get also there's a company within Nigeria, the one can only for operate in the sub region. And I had the one make the yo hop. We get three planes there, the one can let the station there for the loop around West Africa. Let's say for example, come on, you want to go to Nigeria, you know, for all the whole day in Iran. It takes uh, from here to three, three hours in Dori. Gambia, Senegal, uh, Guinea, Liberia, and let them we travel uh, do. The international one day we work on them uh, from here to America and London. But the Office of the Presidential Infrastructure Initiative, now the office will be in there in charge for CCA, they work with the SUMA group for build this new airport, where this make the chairman, Dr. Tambi, been talk on which basis then be build this new airport. This airport that we see today has been constructed on a build, operate, and transfer basis, costing the government nothing. I am proud today to say that OPII has delivered this airport. OPII conceptualized, planned, and designed this airport 
and we have implemented it. Ours is to do transformative and infrastructure projects and transfer the infrastructure landscape of this nation. Fati Bona, that the vice president for the Suma Group of Communes, been talk about how they feel about this airport where they build and serve the partnership where they get with salon governments. I'm standing here today for the inauguration of the new Freetown International Airport. When we signed our agreement on 12th of November 2020, we were still in a COVID environment in the middle of uncertainty, risk a very pessimistic outlook for the world economy and the aviation industry. Most people were skeptical about the realization of this project. Frankly, very few believed in us. Nevertheless, we were able to finish the works earlier than scheduled with a high quality and I think we will appreciate once you experience the facility. I'd like to thank my colleagues, the summer team, which reached 1,200 people at the most of which were our family and brothers and sisters. We did it together. Your tireless efforts, your hard work, your commitment have resulted in one of the best performances of this company. Dear guests, this investment of $407 million represents the biggest Turkish private investment in sub saharan Africa. Today, Freetown International Airport is the most modern airport infrastructure in the region. It is state of our facility. Paramount Chief by Sheboa, Sheba Bere, the third Nakafo Bulong Chief Dome, the top of Petini Smith for development in Apostle for these streets. This event is another testimony to the strong commitment of the SLPP led administration to the development of our chiefdom and the country at large. The completion of this capital intensive airport project is an evidence of the corporate slogan, Talk and Do by His Excellency the President. This day also has been a treasure we did not let go. It is a day that we remain fresh in our minds with the hope of a better future for the people of Kabul and Chiefdom, the Trump of this city and the country at large. Where he made a phone at the new Freetown International Airport, the President Julius Malabio talked about what this means for Salon. Today is a great day. This is a new day for us, indeed. So I want to start by commending Suma Group of Companies for delivering their commitment on their commitment. They promised two years, but in spite of COVID 19 and the global economic headwinds and downturns, they worked hard. Today, two years on, they have delivered. Thank you, Suma. Suma, you have proved yet again that the talk and do is not mere talk. It is a mindset. It is an attitude. And that attitude, they don't get an
the resurfacing and refurbishment of the existing runway and the installation of new navigational aids and granite 1.5 megawatt solar farm that will supply green energy to the airport, not to generate green kind of air. The features of the new airport have been described, of course, by several speakers before me, but we now talk and do. Now we they do, then we look, then we don't talk. So the one that we be say, airport not get for day, if the blind self now for bring them, bring them camera and can't touch them, then we don't say, we will talk, we will do them. We this week, the president will call on Suma a group of coming for give work to people. We come out to Longe and post lock for these states. We the appeal to them say, when then they give work, the people them from Puloka and Longe in particular for be giving priority. And I expect that our friends, the Suma group of companies, we keenly consider our local content laws in employing and training locals as well as giving opportunity to local businesses. I want to say again that even in the midst of COVID-19, Sierra Leone is the only country on the entire West African coast that one company would venture to invest 270 million in COVID time. Nobody not even get time to invest anywhere. Again, since 1967, when the Longa International Air Airport runway was extended, this is the first time in the history of this country that a completely new international airport terminal has been constructed. No government has ever done such a massive infrastructural development in this sector. We have undertaken this investment because we believe that it promotes job creation, it boosts the, new, the, the sector and supports international trade. And we attract new investment streams into this sector and into the country. I've been talking to some community people who are putting and think about this new airport and at this thing gets for sale. My name is Emmanuel Engia. Today, I'm happy as day this. And what was you are the this obligation to my mama for we go to salon. And for let God keep me the like that I can't keep this guy team. This is not, it's not about politics, it's about the good of all Sierra Leoneans. We all on Canada, we all can see the good work of President Bill. My name is Jenny Maroja. I've been happy today. I'm happy today. Today, I know one day see this country here. I'm privileged in my life. Now, today, I'm not important. Yeah, what's the word? I go tell President Bill, say, and they tell her plenty, plenty, plenty. Thank you. Let God bless her. Let God guide her and protect her for we. Let God help her. Any evil mother, my way, they are against her. Let God kill her for we. The community people here and say, and glad with the development the way presidents will not go with now put for this state. As they say, this new airport, now part of the development promise them. Where the presidents will make to them and self say, then go make sure say, then give some group the support. Where they want for run the airport with support from Saptu Kalon, Musa Kamara for Radio Democracy, you know, can be a report. <laughs> Use cement when a superior quality. Cement where they give you value for your money. Cement where they settle you wala where you can get pan cement business. Cement where they show you the tanganess usai in matter. Cement where mix international standard. And that's not Dangote 42.5 agrade T export land limestone cement. When a good quality and best cement that the country. You know, see when we build in Timap Skate and Tranga, Dangote 42.5 R grade cement, na the highest grade pan cement, where you know they fend no side for buy na the country. No say you deserve the best quality grade cement. Where then test and confirm say na the best. No make them tell you, no settle for less. Buy Dangote 42.5 R grade cement for pull yourself pan cotat, losses and wahala. Dangote 42.5 R grade cement, na the best among the rest. All right, welcome back from the break. The program is still listened to now the Monday edition of the program, Good Morning Salon. And at the program this morning, we look at how democratic presidents being government don't be since 2018 to now. And we get the Minister of Information and Communication, Mohamed Rahman Suare. We also get CDI Tunis from the All People's Congress. And we get Abdul Fatoma from Chadi. I'll come over again to the Minister of Information and Communication. We don't get an opening from on our own. We don't talk about how on our things say President Bill in government don't be democratic inside 
since 2018 to now. And with the come for the second rounds, we continue with the discussion and we don't listen to Una all as moderators of the program. And for we'll come over to you this round, um, just want to let you make mention of some of the team where we hear it from CDA Tunis mm -hmm. and also we hear it from Abdul Fatoma and mm -hmm. two kids in them who are pick up gets for do with freedom of expression and freedom of association. Mm -hmm. According to them, two people yeah, they don't make mention of for say from 2018 to now. Freedom of association, for example, people and we belong to a certain political party, they don't exceed the tolerance where people and go feel free, say, then go express themselves through demonstration, for example, or sometimes political party them forgetting guard against them within they our position. They don't they see this they happen since 2018 to now. You come out from the government. What's going to happen with this space? We make with the notice, say, civil society pick them up, and also the main opposition party self make mention of that. What happened to this space? Okay, so, um. <clears throat> Let we let shine small light on the president in speech, not the commissioning of the Free Time International Airport. Hey, pertaining to the question. And I'm not to 10 minutes to give me. Let we go to give me 10 minutes. I will, I, will, I, will, I will use up. But this is too serious. Such a phenomenal achievement for let me do for this way. Let, let me make a few things there. According to a producer, I get five minutes this time around. Oh, this time around. Yeah. Okay, so this one, I just this is a passing comment. You can count me five minutes while doing this. Okay, so uh, I see where Khadija they talk about them, and this one I know them. You see the new extended terminal. I didn't say you don't shop change. We uh, it does not represent the truth. Are you the truth me? is, eh? you quote me? Yeah, now you are the quote. Yeah, I saw you frame them. It is not a new extended terminal. This is a brand new airport. You know, I live a greater part of my adult life working at the Free Time International Airport in a leadership position. So just for clarity, see, yeah. now two airports are longer now. No, so I focus on the no, newly commissioned airport. New airport. This is a brand new airport. So Absolutely. Now two airports are longer. Yes. Two. Yes. So what you going to miss a minute? So the fence and for look at the whole airport. No, 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 no. So I just, I just took my passing comment. So this is a we want brand to let you new airport. Five components. Are, if you say you get let the time station. not go down. That you say we not allow you for talk on the question where we don't ask. I agree. I agree. About I go the manage my time. I go manage my time. Freedom of association and that of expression. I go manage my time. Okay. But important for note say, you know, when you say you get a studio, now all the components they are already here. Now you need forget. And I will get another this airport to the president for more commission. And what to make a really, really, really happy and excited, say, are they part of this team? We score this goal. Working at the airport for 10 unbroken years in a leadership position. Are they on air? My colleagues and Sabi. They are where those moments. Gambia Airport, the decommission some equipment there. Salo, big as we are. We're not going to wash it. We'll go ask for the equipment there. Or let Gambia, then they decommission and they bring new one. We'll go bigger there. Let them give down the local user in our airport. I happy say President Bill don't end that drought. And this airport, like I say, now big, big, big opportunity for our country. But they help do with more respect. From the Ramshackle, place where they, where, where they provide aviation services, now don't get an airport. But we will come to that one day another time. I just be need for talking that. It takes Sierra Leone, that airport day, they may be land during the Second World War for British troops. Eh? So it don't take we literally something like 85 years for get an airport. 85 years. Around 1939, 38, 39, and now get Mr. Minister, please, so we can come back to the issues. I've been just need for talk about that. Sorry about it. We don't talk about access to justice. I know they mention it. Right? Uh, now, one big, big thing now and then we don't do. I mean, I know they say we don't get a perfect system. Everything is not honky dory. We're not arrive. But we don't make phenomenal gains in this, in this direction. Today, you get resident high court judges in every district, right? Before now, it was the figure be very dismal. Then they adjourn matters there because high court now been sacked. So now, what happened to the freedom of association and that of expression? Now, it, see, see, they make very, very, very outlandish and frivolous uh, statements and let put them in context now. You talk about um, the election of the speaker and see the now government students. Back in 1994, I began to teach I mean, government students, and one of the key modules, key topic there, separation of powers, checks, and balances. The, the, the legislature is led by a speaker, not of the executive, the controller at all. So it's important for no say, separation of powers, day, right? No, you don't know, blame government for something happening in the, in the world of parliament. The police decision, 
the police, what did they go do the na court order they, em, they go enforce? Because CD clearly understands, say, these people, they may get, they may get, they may get um, issues there for addressing a court, the court give order. So na court order, the police, na they don't rule that. And court orders there meant for be respected. You get one more minute. As a political party, we want for takeover government, law and order for be a critical hallmark, right? The other business, the other business so important for note about is when the court being ordered, the same court being ordered, the vice president removed, we will not be lecker. But that was what they did. The people of Australia lived with it, right? The same court, Naemi, appoints Ansu Lanzana in replacement. will not be doing anything about that. We had our reservations. We still do, yes. But that is what it is. So court orders there, get for be respected. On the Padamba Road killings, I surprised some people that sit down there. But look, gentlemen, if we lead, a uh, winner opinion leaders, uh, all these two people there, Lord, they read. I sense we are not doing that. The Padamba Road report is out there for right. all for read. So I want to encourage you now after this for rush for copies alone and get to that next day for read. I mean, it's available, openly available, yes. Uh, huh? we'll see, the, you, you talk about uh, people there, you talk about being. Uh, political party activists after on a convention, I see they battle the police for the security where they provide for in another breath. You see, don't uh, eh? they talk about all the things that we don't talk to. Right. Not they believe is, eh? Minister, but that's you, don't, you don't exhaust the five minutes, we'll come back to you for so, another round of five as minutes. They are so, I want let anybody now uh, cite instances of somebody being you know on a political party for what it is. You talk about the cyber crime law, I want to talk about that. We'll go come back to you for another um, round of five minutes, please. Uh, oh, we'll continue. Too much. We continue with the program. Good morning, Salon. We we'll can now to um, the national publicity elect for the main opposition APC party. When I see the Tunis as in self, they can get in second round of five minutes. Earlier, you'll be done lay the premise of things they want to feel say na evidence for show say for the past five years. President Bio not done they uphold some of the democratic principles. Though. You listen to the government spokesman, according to them, they don't give a level playing field for let everybody participate to talk about democracy and UNAS opposition. Now, one of the key players them inside democracy, apart from the human rights issues that we state earlier, now look at the level playing field, the space for let UNAS have come out with genuine critique they want to feel say. The government know they do right. How genuine on don't be in on a cause? We 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 don't be very genuine. And, and make I tell you this, Kadija. If you look at the previous administration and before President Julius Mara be young, one of the reasons we make with democracy be continue for get accolades now the world, now the relationship will be exist between the opposition and the ruling government. And we be the expect that as opposition party, as government, we just come on our power, we hand over to the current administration. We be feel say that will be of value also under this current administration. But unfortunately, it wasn't. Several attempts, we make several attempts in letters, in uh, you know, press releases, and even don't attempt for meet His Excellency the President Sefsef. For highlight some of the issues they have, so we feel you know they go right or we they weaken with democracy. They don't pay mind to we. In fact, there are instances where in political parties leaders were beaten off the perimeters of state house because they attempt for go and deliver a letter for His Excellency the President. So we always don't genuine. We believe say as an opposition party, we get huge number of followers. Now we're responsibility for maintain the peace and quiet of this country. Now we're responsibility for maintain national cohesion and for maintain unity. And Arabic also, we believe say, now then one day they go strengthen with democracy. Now that make we can emphasize that we follow the law. The minister, they talk about access to justice, nobody not deny that. But for dispense justice justly, now are the most important thing are about with justice system, and that we know they see, unfortunately. And which thing they become even more worrisome now. Now, the fact say, we they see they want to use the judiciary for legitimize illegitimacy. They always they see 
lost and we they don't bulldoze through parliament. When we challenge them, then we go to the judiciary for ensure say they're able to legitimize their illegal laws, then they will we know say they for hamburg this country in the future. Or we will get implications on how we go operate as a country going forward. And then it talk about women, you know, come on. We don't see more women harassed and arrested under this administration than any administration we may don't see when a democratic administration in the history, in this country, in history. I will name numerous women. We don't spend days in, 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 in CID, Paremba Road, the likes of Yvonne Akisoya, Sylvia Blyden, Yabo Taslim Sise, Madina Rahman, you know, you name them, Maramalo, Bangura, just about every opposition woman, Femi Claudio School, we don't raise in voice against this administration, just like we the men, they don't subject them to some harassment and torture, Naparemba Road or CID. And um, you, <laughs> you, I don't want to come to the airport because I want to stay on this topic, but just for clarity, even the president not call a new airport in Tuesday, and say in go open a new airport terminal building. So the president himself knows better that that is not that that is not that that is not when I that I'll, that I'll, is I'll, not I'll, a new I'll, airport. I'll, I'll and and let me here. tell you something: new airport. Can, this huge new airport. They come with the fact of the matter is we still maintain the same air co air code. We still maintain the same uh, 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 runway. We oh, don't get. But we like, will we'll we'll come to that later. Let, let, let me stay. Let me stay within the yeah, topic. Oh, they are for Thank you. The fact is, all we are saying as an opposition, we want to see with democratic crisis strengthening. We have all of these different arms of democracy. We insisted on highlight. We want to continue for see the independence and maintain the independence. In the first place, the judiciary never removed the vice president. No, he was not removed by the judiciary. So let's get that correct. Who it was, he, you, you say that the same judiciary removed the vice no, president. No, no, no. He was not. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, right. you know, let me also say that, uh, yes, we want to see the institutions, they are independent, and we want to see them strengthened. Now with the entire electioneering period. And we see instances wherein already the intervention of security forces don't begin for ensure, say, political parties, they harassed and prevented from carrying out their activities. We respect we forces, we want for ensure, say, they continue for function right. in the interest of the country and all of us, right. all of us. The laws are clear as to yeah. activities of political parties. And we see repeatedly these laws flouted, right. political parties harassed. And we go continue for stand right. for so what go make we pol uh, exist as, pol as political parties and ensure that we people are able to practice democracy freely and then we reflected always. We will come back to you, Sidi Ayatunis. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue. We come to the other studio guests, Weena Abdul Fatuma. You there this morning in the service and independent eye and they represent the people among the, the civil society umbrella and you come on at Chadi. But I'm um, taking into consideration all the things we don't discuss at the program this morning. On a scale of 100, those are you go place presidents being in government in terms of performance when they come from democratic principles, then we will look at this morning. Who say you go place the performance? I get for deliberately judge, I mean, dodge that you statistics uh, quota for me. I go on for to the line of when they get an opportunity for let them talk literally, you know, on democracy and participation. Why you know for comment no, on which you go see and say you go place? No, I will come on that last one, definitely. But as an opening, I just want for dodge, you know, for a seconds. Um, Democracy is about participation. And when people participate in democratic process, that gives them, you know, ownership for own the thing. Because democracy is about the will of the people. And both CD and uh, Rado, you know, talk about this. But within the people, they're not able to get clear from the politicians. Now, how we as a people for freely participate 
um, how the atmosphere they don't create. When it comes to participation of political party and voters, um, you see a sharp increase in confidence in the Electoral Commission. Uh, back, if we go back November 2020, we get the collaboration within the civil society and the EMBs. We help for engage political party leadership and candidate them. CD is one of uh, the people that we don't commend with several times, this group, the Election Conflict Prevention and Mediation Working Group. We ensure, say, you know, <coughs> political parties, whatever political party, get a fair play when we enter into the by-election process. When it comes to security, when concern come up from the opposition, say, if, you know, 30 police, they protect the SFPP candidate, that also for be leveraged to the opposition candidate there. We ensure that, say, the police comply with their reasonable request there. Then also when it comes to arrest, you know, we don't be vocal for ensure that, say, either we condemn government or we urge government for ensure that, say, then people, the way they arrest, if they not commit any crime against the state, not just a political tension situation, make them subject to their arrest and they, or make them go release their amount of people. Then. So definitely we don't bring a lot of, you know, uh, 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 improvement. This not the kind of about participation when people want in democracy. So the so government gets a pass or a fail on democratic principles? As a country, we, we, we get a huge challenge for meet with democratic standards. So if me, the mark as an examiner, definitely Israeli government cannot pass democracy because we the struggle still, you know, for ensure that say, with freedom of assembly, freedom of, uh, of expression, and we still get, you know, issues the way people then they uh, get challenges for, for, for get access to the basic thing then. You they get money, now you light. Now you add some uh, meter, then still you get huge challenges, you know, for let you go get that light. You get that anxiety. For sure, say lights go kind of money. You go get money for go buy water na Guma Valley. If possible, not go there by nine o'clock. They say then they only sell give the public, you know, a six pounds. So if you not get there earlier, these are basic things. But as a country, we still they get challenged for get access to that. These are all democratic rights. The basic right that go for enjoy. We get so many Sri Leoneans and still they get challenges. However, we don't make progress by reforming and bringing in new laws and we go build the pillar of democracy. But the full implementation of them laws and they, you know, you see a lot of public, uh, 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 gov let me say, uh, civil servant there. We for be very neutral in politics. We see them openly declaring their interest and the argument against the common citizen, you know, against the political party. So we want to see that space outside all Sierra Leoneans equal before the eyes of the law. It doesn't mean which political party. Democracy not recognize you from the East or the South or the West. Democracy is simply the will of the people. That means we all the inside one base and we for operate one base, inside one base and we enjoy one right not so suggestive right. uh, we, we they suggest the right the way you know certain people for enjoy at what time and what time um, minister rado talk about the report i remember the vice president vividly at the wrap up Kalija. i'm mean, i'm very good with me time management uh, <laughs> maybe uh, you know, um, Minister, I'd rather talk about the the, the 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 correctional report. When the correctional service be do the thing, Vice President also say there is another independent investigation apart right. from the correctional. So the correctional service they report report then they not the public, right. but that independent report let me talk about. Sir. Continue for the return at the studio at the bottom. We will come back to now the program. Good morning, Salon. They continue and we they go for shots. We they go for shots. We they go for shots break now and come back to the studio guests and the program they continue. Yeah, Echo Bank. Now the account. Nick, I tell you. 
but Echo Bank save and win. Not to just for save, all. save and win with Echo Bank. Just save 5,000 loans or more now your Echo Bank savings account from October 2022 to April 2023 and you can win fine, fine prize then. You save no more and win big. Save 10,000 loans from now to April 2023 and qualify for the second prize raffle draw for win one brand new keke. Save 20,000 and qualify for the grand prize win a new motorcar. Echo Bank. Echo Bank. No Yagba. No Yagba. Echo Bank. Hey. You know what in the money, me? I want to go now, now. But the waste them in the longer, longer thing up and see them waking then at the bank. Now in the money, me right now. What did me go do? Hey, bo? So they're not able to pay for this thing, I say. Welcome. So GT Express service. GT Express service. Now who's one dish again? This means say we banking made simple 24-7 and 365 days a year. Any side where you see the GT Express point, just go inside. You go meet GT Bank certified agent. We go ready for attend to you with no yaba with GT Express service. You go open account, do cash deposit able for withdraw money, do bill payments like EDSA, check your account balance, and buy airtime like Orange and Africel Topo. Avoid the longer line and team up with the bank for wait for you your couple. With GT Bank, we banking life change for good. GT Bank, it go better, you bank with we. Right, we continue with the program. Good morning, Salon, where they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. When they come back to the studio, we still get the um, Minister of Information and Communication with me. We get the main opposition party, the APC party, the National Publicity Secretary, or we get Abdul Fatoma of Chad. Today, at the program, we look at how presidents be in government or able to uphold democratic principles. Um, Mr. Minister, they come back to you earlier when you start for your premise. You talk about abolishing the death penalty as part of on a successive story them as a government. But in as much as on abolish the death penalty, lots of and the open government about extrajudicial killing. Talk about the Tonkolimba, my 91, McKinney, Lonsan, Patemba Road prison and self the eight to ten protest will be up on a few tongue. A lot of people them they lost their life, although the investigation still lay gone. And according to the opposition and some member of the public, then they talk about all the allegations. Then the how you can relate them to the abolishment of the death penalty, it's all the allegations they are on the Nazi government. Okay, so let, let me clarify something. I say the court they endorse the removal of the vice president. I don't say that they, that they remove the vice president. And where we political leaders, and opinion leaders, they, they talk, we got to be very, very mindful of the fact, see, if we make frivolous allegations, they, they put them judges and they and their families there in harm's way. Yeah. We're not trying to do that. Yeah, because correct. they don't say government, they use the judiciary, this, that, that. And, you know, democracy itself, the oxygen where they keep on going, the law and all that, the decorum. So we got to get that one the right. You don't talk about all the incidents there. Fumble and members say, following um, a couple of the attacks that we mentioned, for example, the Tumbo riot, the Ademba Road, there were calls. And again, let's not pretend like say we get a memory, a memory we don't forget. The president may get calls for a justice nation. Before then, because of them, with the red chap seated in Holland or some place, you know, again, APC members calling for violence calling for the burning down inciting people literally inciting people so before any one of their incidents and they their incitements and they being calm and the share are all over the police so the police the security services there then get an obligation for preserve law and order i mean if any sort of has lost their lives in it it's unfortunate but the, the country here yeah, we got for keep on safe we got for keep on secure i mean in mckinney it was a tragic failure of leadership on the part of the leaders and they of the APC. They did not they put on suspecting young guys who have been made poor as a result of 11 years of bad governance 
in harm's way or go first for generator or clearly in a government property. Every after the every after the Ministry of Energy do all the silent stakeholder engagements, they were there to tell them for let them go. No, no, they begin not be there. When the thing they happen later, when I can't bail them people, yeah, nobody came for it. Took a long, long, long time. So this is to the young people. People they always say, logo, logo, um, they in conflict with the law, then the one day come forward, right? Then begin another come forward. So as we go into elections, I think it's now one thing that we'll see. Politicians then a message them forget. Now alternative messages then forget to what in government they do. You say, okay, we're not gonna do well with human rights, come back if they bring the criminal liable law, they bring her back to the law. What alternative policy position? We want to know if you go if you go bring back the death penalty. We want to know if you pull free quality education. We want to know if you see the pool in Lunge Airport now, Lunge, or Kran go, my mama. My mama, where the land acquisition been questionable. Uh, no meteorological studies have been done, all ends in the day, you know. So now then see how the elections were there about not for inside people there and put uh, the judiciary members of the judiciary in harm's way. Yeah. You they say the elections for be about topic issues, yes, issues where yeah. owner as political leader they for come and talk to the people. Then. Yeah. What if questions they like this were just asking? Not where the answer so. Mr. Minister, please don't don't ask me question. Please do. How na go able for account for some of these issues where allegation they say here yeah, upon under President Bill in leadership, especially you for do with allegation of extrajudicial killing. No, but look, listen, President Bill, you did that you host one day you don't get you don't get unsolicited knock on your door. No sir, you and I not go tell you say you don't knock, they not emit police, they don't knock on your door, don't pull a come up. You have to be of security interest. The issues are all the talk. Now, lawlessness. Basic lawlessness. Now, it happened. So, these were people in conflict with the law. These were not people murdered in cold blood. I mean, unfortunate, no Sierra Leonean life should be lost. I mean, let's get that very clear. But in the cause of preserving law and order, there are fallouts. It's unfortunate. So, now that make what they say, even as politicians and desperate for takeover state house, we they say, let it be about issues. What will you do differently? You go pull a airport na Lunge, like oh, be say, for crown go, my mama. We don't want free quality education. We don't believe in gender empowerment, 30% for women. We don't, go, we don't want the repeal. We don't want all the progress, yeah, access to justice, where high court, where judges, and they're all over in every district now. If we don't want anything, they want to put them on the table. Let's so going, going to the elections, like you say, let everything be on issues when it's time comes for the debate. Um, again, well, I don't the ruling government. <laughs> You know, they heard the singer and the dancer. From the government, Mr. Minister. From Mr. Minister. public radio than the plan. From Mr. Minister. Mr. Minister, please. This one, they come from you now. We know they play that now, yeah. So, Mr. Minister. So, Mr. Minister. This is a music and the dance. So, we know they play now, yeah. We know they play the music and the So, now, Mr. Minister, going to the elections. Government ready for leave. 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 Government ready for we listen very recently. We listen, Doctor Samora Kamara, my in-law. They say, "Look, oh God, they may go out and say that they no more to get job." And he knew he was not saying the truth. He knew he was not saying the truth. Been a lie, you know that. Me, um, earlier, CD make mention of the space how mm -hmm. democratic it don't be, mm -hmm. especially for them as opposition. And he also make mentions a few months to the election mm -hmm. that just the APC and the SLPP don't own <laughs> convention forget. The leaders, them, it make mention of the Unity Party. Mm. Where which one they, are Unity Party? Where be they on the convention? Where which one now? On Who is leader? So I'm all like evidence them for show. Oh, saying. okay, that's a political party. Unity Party, yes. Okay, I'm learning this here now. What the office? What's that the office? Then they look. But if APC hold convention, yeah, nobody not stop them. Then we we'll give them police. We we'll give them SLBC. All the kinds of support them get up. So it's safe for me for your school and disrupting. The, the, What's the government are aware that party exists when them so? Well, not to PPRC. PPRC is not in the keep a register of political parties. I'm just but saying. But governance under So, 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 so let's come to the substantive issues, maybe. He also... This man say, Mr. Mr. Patoma say, just a medical idea. I'm a trail of, trail of talk. Patoma say, um, if in the market on governance, democracy would fail. Patoma, uh, in the days and the other the elements, I will say, uh, an incompetent examiner. I don't read with scorecard. I don't tell you what the MCC give you. Right. What in global index is a non give you. They're obviously more competent than Fatoma. I mean, he has a vested interest. Right. Salo, man. 
He has sentiments. All right, many thanks. Mm -hmm. We come over to Syria at Tunis. Uh, many thanks to you, Mohamed Rahman, sorry, Minister of Information and Communication. We come over to Syria at Tunis. Based on waiting and waiting, mm -hmm. you don't make mention of this morning as concerns them we the old people's congress get regarding President Bion leadership, way camp and democratic practices. Now we get a few months into the elections. From the old people's congress, waiting on our expectations then from the government, taking into consideration democracy and allowing people for experience. What do they expect? Uh, Mabel, thank you very much. You know, we govern this country 10 years. Now we hand over to the current administration. And during we tenure, uh, Sierra Leone has been the most peaceful country, na the sub-region and the third most peaceful in Africa. We also been very tolerant. We began good relationship um, you know, government as well as opposition. And I make even when we lost, we hand over power peacefully to them. You know, as we get into the elections now, we know the gains to make democratically. We are a democratic party. Now that make even the challenges we don't face these past four years under the hands of this administration. Um, we don't stay calm. We keep with supporters then calm because we know, say, there is only one thing we get in mind, and that now uh, strengthen with democracy and for ensure, say, we remove this administration through the ballot box. And that make you never hear we threaten, say, we will crush the citizens of this country. As you hear from the Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs, we, by the way, tell we say that a policy directive, which means that's a directive from the government. You never hear we to map the, the threatening you know, for cut the head of any opposition leader, you know, or for any cut the head of any leader in our governance, we always they insist on making sure that the only weapons where the people of this country get, not their fingers, their ballot boxes, their ballot papers, their inks, you know, and then get for use their weapons, then they for silence any gun and for remove this government from power because we don't tire with the bondage, with the suppression, with the harassment, with the abuses we would see, and with the denial of basic, the most basic commodities we would this country brought and enjoy. Even they improve electricity, they improve water supply across the country. The minister they talk about free quality education. President Kaba start and we can we perfect them, we raise them up to covering. Um, you know, uh, secondary schools and even providing tuition assistance and uh, for people in our universities, all of them things, then they will start school feeding program. We start them, um, it was perfected under us and it been cover every district in this country. So these are things where we value, we initiate, we value them. And going into these elections, I will assure the people of this country that the APC is up to nothing but making sure that we continue for practice true democracy, remove this government democratically. Saying that, however, I a call on the government for make them not try anything. We go trample on the will of the people of this country, or we go prevent the people from truly practicing democracy. As much as we, as the main opposition, they continue for preach peace and quiet to we people, regardless of everything we don't go through. We have people who have been butchered in Bondapi. We get people where they don't butcher at Tonkolimba. We get people where they don't butcher at Mile 91 and other places. Their families are grieving. They all go stand. We, we know now, say, several people were met in their homes and shot. We now know that, you know, their families are grieving, you know. So all of these things, we know how much anger don't they generate in the people of this country. But we still, they talk to them oh, for maintaining the peace and quiet so that at the end of the day, this is the time we then self get power. This is not the time we then self get voice. This is not the time we then self get for decide. We go can sit here and talk all we want for talk, but the people of this country know what they don't go through this last five years. And we, as political party, we want for ensure, say, they're able for express their voices, 
they're able for associate when and how they want for associate within right, the see, confines of the point. law. And at the end of the day, when they vote, their votes will be protected and their will will be reflected. Anybody try for take that away from them, then of course we all go expect see, we will get problems. Last set of you five minutes quickly in one minute how, on a scale of from one to ten. How you can assess President Biu in government in terms of upholding the democratic principle on the two one they will narrow to down this morning, human rights and for free the space down all participate as opposition party. I will give them fairly, fairly mark, not more than two. Right. You know, on a scale of one to ten, simply because they follow on for repeal the criminal libel law we will start, even though they introduce the draconian cyber. Crimes Act, but I will give them that. All right. Thank you. Um, Mr. Fatoma, you said get your last set of five minutes um, for make that property submission. You now one of the civil society um, activists that will get between the two politicians they now this morning. You said don't state and clearly say right to protest now still a challenge. Going forward, we think will be word of advice to president be in government in terms of opening the space well um one clear thing where i think president be in government needs for do is for communicate directly with the people on their manifesto the meet and development the achievement the way they inside it waiting them will promise the people them waiting they not achieve how they're able for catalog that then we get the sti then i mean they still get the sti where they collect data, you know, how many jobs they don't create, how many jobless young people they we meet, how many young people they create job for, how many hospitals they don't build, where hospitals not been there, how many courts, you know, they don't build, or how many, you know, uh, uh, water facility they don't improve on, how many electricity, you know, access to energy, how much of that they don't increase on. So when you not communicate with the people, people will never understand what you don't do or what you not do. So waiting then at the public, you know, if not for criticize more, the, 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 the negative thing where the public, they, 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 they listen to, now that line the public, they consume. So failing actually for put right information there is also a violation of human rights. Because right to information are a basic fundamental right. So any information we hold on the public, you get for make sure say that message they go down to the public. The the, the, the people get that, that that very message. And then when you listen to the two politicians, they're not able to cite for we from the manifestos. You know, waiting actually them believe in democratic principles and how they want for rule that out. Like in case the ruling government fail for strengthening. The, the, the democratic right of citizens and, you know, how them as an opposition, what is the best alternative for ensure say, the people of Sierra Leone enjoy a better human right, a better democracy. Then you also see that, say, um, the minister, a, a, a constantly, the, 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 the refuse for accept the reality. Um, I mean, the reality? the reality is that telling me, say, uh, if Amy a Mac, he goes see me as an incompetent examiner, you know, accepting the reality that's a mere opinion based on the human right things and the basic fundamental. You get people that were old like in age, since we're born, the old way they, they don't ever get access to tap water. These are basic fundamental human rights. When they want and they improve, we for tap yourself now we back say we don't grow from you know the lack of access to water inside your home, you know, to now having direct access to water. Nobody no go say salon no make that progress. We don't make significant progress when it comes to reform and introducing law. I don't repeat this three times now. These are all the pillars of a law build with democracy. But then I also be talking about the implementation. And the selected way how we they arrest some people in this country. The selected way how we they try some people in this country. Some people then there, I say earlier on in the 10 minutes opening, we still get people then, we get matana court for the past 13 years. We still get people then, we don't spend over six months or other several months now with detention centers across the country. We get people the way they arrest them without due process. 
you know, they still in our detention. These are all our human rights concerns. So on team, I mean, I make a big start with and say these are challenges. But the fact that say would they make progress, you know, for introduce laws and for little curtail lengthening and they, these are all mixed issues. But we want to see the reality. All right. So as to the wrap up with you, five minutes. Um, from the civil society perspective, from 2018 to now, one of the civil society members them not able for freely express on herself without getting backlash or some sort of attachment to different political party them. And I don't feel safe in the civil society space. That not the culture of politics in this country. During the APC, me not be uh, SLPP. During this SLPP, me not APC. That's how people they brand me. Wait, that's just the culture. But you they feel so, safe for do you work in the civil society space? Well, I don't get any arrested or neither, uh, you know, it's time to say they get for arrest me. But some of my colleagues, then the way they do arrest, uh, some of them will stand with them, you know, for let them go release them. Uh, uh, Thomas Moore, uh, Edmond Abu, you know, the, these are with other colleagues, then, but I mean, the, these are part of work. But in line of their work, they're not going to tip somebody. Oh. They're doing the line of their work. All right, All right. So they they're during the line of their work. All right. <laughs> They don't know. They don't know. Would they come out to the Minister of Information as himself go take Mr. Mayor, five minutes, eh? That's set up. One minute to the wrap up now. Now only get one minute to wrap up now. He may not long give me five minutes. Now you've been getting before we can. So coming back to the issues then, we um would they talk about in the studio. Don't listen to you two co-panelists them, the civil society. You know, so <clears throat> let me say be examiner. It may not be examiner. Um you know, my brother Fatoma and I don't feel abysmally. When they talk about democracy, you see the thing that way they bring in, they don't make a such a way that a little say that the whole government they on trial, the whole government manifesto. And they say we not to talk with manifesto promises. I don't say we promise for a field criminal like that. We promise for do death penalty. All ends in the hour, I don't talk. Now we've been commit promises made, promises fulfilled, and the new airport. Now, part of the thing that they will commit to. How else I have to say it? Well, the danger is when you get civil society actors there, eh, where they say they're not able to understand the situation. Then things say that we criticize government, not even saying the truth. This is the problem. It's a, it's a grave danger to democracy. What the things say on our independent habitats and foresee. For example, electricity, transmission line, we don't we improve them from 200 kilometers to about 1,200 kilometers right now. Electricity access from 13% to 38% right, right now. More communities have homes, more communities have electricity now than they've ever had since so independence. As to wrap up, so government all government recognize the concerns they wouldn't raise, but freedom of association and expression are yes, recognizing so, concerns. So, uh, and... Because we recognize it in the dynamic, we do the repeal. So people then go freely able to speak. My brother talk about the, the, the cyber security and crime law. That one day, you know, APC has been a disaster for this country. In 2014, there about, when they land the fiber cable now, now be part of the condition precedence and that, you must have a, a, a cyber security and crime law because when you land cable, exponentially, you get more people then uh, connected to the internet. So you need to get laws there for regulate that space, for guide people then correct conduct. This is what we did. And that law, they, in fact, don't make more provision for fundamental human rights protection and all others. Fatoma, they said, be risk, huh? then talk, talk, then talk, then they will all talk. But the danger of most of the critics of the law is sadly enough, and this is not good for our country, right. they're not the read, even if they do not with profit. We want for encourage politicians and for the read before we speak to our people and misinform them. Many thanks for joining at the program this morning. Mohamed Rahman Swari, Minister of Information and Communication. We'll come over to you today at Tunis in your one minute. What can you go say to the listening public as we are ahead of the elections <laughs> pertaining pertaining government issues we get for do with democratic principles? I want to say to the people of this country, for 11 years, they enjoy development, they enjoy freedom, they enjoy unity, they enjoy cohesion at this country. We say everybody participate and enjoy uh, the extensive development we will take across this country, not on regional or tribal basis. And I promise them say, when we remove this, um, government and power we will see them they exhibit so much arrogance all the time against the people of this country in their utterances in their acts you know we go come back and restore waiting we all don't used to when a unity freedom justice development and access 
to the basic things that will improve the lives of every Israeli union. Right. I promise on this, and we will ensure say we uphold the rule of law. We ensure say institutions they're independent in carrying out their duties, so that we all, you know, go get confidence in we judiciary, in we parliament, in we police, in we army, and also in other institutions uh, like tertiary, secondary, right. basic Thank educational you. institutions. Yes, Arrogance no go pay. And I advise my comrades or my colleagues, now the SFPP, arrogance, not a pay. Thank you, CDF Tunis. You one minute to know quickly. Um, Mr. Fatoma, um, in one minute, we get the two main party then, the APC and the SLPP with win at the studio, and who fastly they approach June 24 elections as well, a civil society. What you go say to them for ensure say they uphold the rule the rules of law and make sure say them preach peace to them, support them so that the country will go into the elections peaceful one. One thing clear is that the need for go and talk to them party supporters and and then company politicians and say, you know, where you be politician, not to license for lay be lawless. You get for respect law and order. You, I mean, no society, not a go forward without without the rule of law and accountability. The democratic society go only be thrive on that. But when you see that, say, when election come around, you see politicians and political groups become more lawless, ensure that, say, they vandalize community, and ensure that say then create you know unrest in the society. So if you intend for can govern people, then then also you they scale the hell out of the same people the way you want for govern. That definitely before you can have power or where you didn't have power, you don't start to undermine the democracy. So when we talk about those things, they will become incompetent. But when we don't talk about it, they will become competent. So with that, I just want for let we as a citizen we respect each other opinion. All right, thank you very much, Abu Fatoma, Chief Executive for Chadi. We you don't send a your word of, of advice to the two political parties. Then, well, the program now. Good morning, Salon. We come to you from the Society for Energy Democracy, ninety-eight point one FM. Many thanks mm -hmm. to we studio guests them. We join we in uh, so this morning for talk on how presidents be in government or able for all the democratic principle them for the five years now we don't be in leadership. Michael Sambola and Alex Lorenz Kuma are then produced the program. DJ Cliff here with technical support. Usman Kamara and the team that they make on watch we live on Facebook page. Mina Khadija Bangura, they wish you all a lovely day. And uh, Osiwa support the democracy for bringing this edition of the program come to honor. And don't forget, on Friday, the 17th of March, the ECSL will begin for the voters ID card. So you will know, say, you can register, you can come out on the 17th of March. Of course, we'll go for get updates from ECSL as to how when I will go for collect on our voters ID card them. Until then, maybe I'll come out say, get yourself a wonderful day and goodbye. <music>
country slow We want for no Why not they go Yes, oh, oh, I can for sure. Yes, I can for sure. Then, 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 If I try for go before, I beg for, do ya not make us slow? No, no. If I try for waste the tempo, do ya not make them low? Yes, so. Before they do them, sing them. Sing now we go make we glad. Sing now we go make we happy. Sing now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in unity. Yes, so we for the do them sing them. Sing now we go make we glad. Sing now we go make we happy. Sing now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in harmony. Yes, so don't we for do them sing them. Sing now we go make we smarter. Sing now we go make we stronger. Sing now we go make we nation last much longer. So we life them go better. Yes, so. Cause we for less than team then Team now we go make we scatter Team now we go bring palava Team now we go make we nation Where you pan ambara Make we people scatter Skanty they do talk about Now they need Team then like half a flavor plava Political party wahala Team then we go make we agba Then put we country pan yakba Sing along say hey Hey bo bo We want for no We want for no Wait to make we country they go slow. Wait to make it all they grow. Yes, so go I can for sure. Yes, I can for sure. Then sing them, sing them way they make we know they grow. Then I will that yes, so make we show them sing them. Sing them we go make we kick boom. Sing them we go make we country go before. Mama yes, so sing them we go make we grow. Sing them we go make we left for go slow. Make baby glad if for pop or show. Alright, so so if I perform me on perform, you say for glad if for watch you watch. If I sing me on sing, you say for glad if for dance you dance. Before they do them sing them, sing now we go make we glad. Sing now we go make we happy. Sing now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in unity. Yes, so. Before they do them, sing them. Sing now we go make we glad. Sing now we go make we happy. Sing now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in harmony. Yes, so sing along, say hey, hey, bo, bo. We want for no, we want for no. Wait to make we country they go slow. Wait to make it all they grow. Yes, so bo, I come for sure. Yes, I can for sure them sing them. Sing them way they make we know they grow. Say now we the life I'm for. We the friend, but still things not a change. How we go go before when we still get evil ways. Let we try to change your ways and let we love for free. And love one another. If I do me sing them, you say for try do sing sing them. Make we all do sing.